take for this welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC. Well, you know, uh, this match is a little long. There's only one match on this video. I thought I would finish uh, Tony Ferguson uh, in the first round, but man, what a battle. now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flu choke looks locked in. The Von Flu choke looks like he's in. He's got he's done a great job of keeping the Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Look at how a pity is defending the sub. Submission defense wins this transition. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Man, I don't know how you simulate this guy in training, DC. Yet another example there of the dynamic striking game of El Cucu. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Ooh, this could be it, that thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Arm triangle attempt. He's gotta get that elbow going forward. He's gotta drop his chest to the back. Don't squeeze. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. And now he's attempting to choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. That rear naked choke is tight. He's worked harder and harder to just secure the arm under the chin to make his opponent attack. Submission right. defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. All right, listen, you did good that round, but I need you to do a little bit better. You close the distance in practice. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right, round two. Oh, man, hit the plan. Plans a big elbow there. up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. He's up. What's the mission defense on this play? Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. All right, there it is again, another takedown. The jiu-jitsu fighter keeping our stats guys busy tonight. His opponent hasn't had a whole lot of answers. Now we'll see what he can do with it. You know, when you're fighting a guy that is disintent on getting takedowns, 
you have to be more proactive in defending it. You cannot play catch up. Right now, he has you playing catch up. Everything he does. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. In the half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, good ground and pound here. And he is back up to his feet. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Guillotine jump. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount. And now maybe the Von Flu choke will be there. South position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. 15 seconds. Gracie's in half goal. Oh, good defense. Yes. And the horn sounds on round two. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. El Cuckoo is back in the full guard. His grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's gonna slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole thing. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. He's having his way with him here. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Oh, arm triangle, arm triangle, arm triangle. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mix it up. Oh, he's got triangle again. to the submission attempt here. A big part of submission defense is just being able to relax in the face of adversity. Oh, man, that was slick. Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, I don't know, that heel hook looks tight. Oh, great submission defense by him there. Now he's attacking with a submission. Boy, I'm telling you, he gave him no opportunity to catch a breath. He defended the submission and went right back to his submission attempt. That was very impressive. Oh, it looked like he might succumb to the submission there. Wasn't having it. Nice escape back to his feet. Back and forth we go. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Takedown defense holds up. 20 seconds left. Low kick is there.
Takedown defense is there. Now he's, oh, he's in a lot of trouble now. All right, so as many expected, this fight goes the distance, but a lot of action in there, particularly when it comes to his offensive wrestling. I mean, he wrestled at a really high level tonight. He knew that his opponent was going to get back to his feet if he got taken down. But he was so committed to the takedown, to the pressure, to the grind, they say, that he was able to really wear him down and get the victory. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 30-27, 30-26, and 30-26. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Hoist Racing. All right, so you heard it there from the venerable Bruce Buffer. We go to the scorecards, but ultimately the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter with ground control, with high-level grappling, gets it done against the boxer tonight. Once this fight hit the ground, he was in full control. He knew that if he could get him there early and often, he would get a victory. 